Residents who choose to vote early will be doing so by electronic tablet, being referred to as e-ballots by Elections Nova Scotia. That's not to be confused with internet voting, which is not yet available in the provincial election. Here's how e-ballots work. When residents check in to a voting location, they will be given a paper envelope with a barcode. They will go behind the voting booth and hold the barcode up to the scanner. The ballot will then load onto the tablet screen and the voter will make their selection. It will then print out a paper copy of the ballot, which voters will fold, slip into the provided envelope and then stick into the ballot box, just like a traditional ballot. The printout ballot is for backup in case the electronics fail and also for auditing purposes after the election. Elections Nova Scotia says the new system was developed because counting early ballots took a long time in previous elections. This was uh, the 2017 provincial general election. We um, experienced really long periods of trying to count all the early votes in paper ballot because the trend in Canada is that voters are choosing early voting options. We we're counting into the wee hours of the next morning. So we found a solution. We decided to digitalize the count for early votes. And that meant that those votes could be counted quickly, uh, basically with the push of a button that the early votes are counted. That means that the bulk of votes can be counted ahead of time. Shelton says e-balloting was used with great success in both the Preston and Picta West by-elections. If the electronics do fail for any reason, there are contingency kits with traditional paper ballots. And on election day, you can expect to see the paper ballots you're used to.